Hello friends. In this video, we will discuss about the transaction variant and screen variant in SAP FICO. So the transaction variant is used to enable, disable the fields, menu and submenus, uh, screens and also to pass individual fields with the default values. So the one difference that uh, uh, that we have with uh, the transaction variant and screen variant is that the transaction variant covers the whole transaction and uh, it can be hence uh, covers the whole transaction screens but the screen variant can only have up to one screen so in this video we will discuss the use of transaction variant with the T code FB70 that is for uh, customer invoice the T code is FB70 So in this invoice, uh, there is a requirement that uh, we need to update the business place. So without this field, the invoice should not should not be posted. So uh, as of now, we have not configured the uh, transaction variant. So without entering this field, the transaction can be posted. L let me show it. So I'm not providing the business place, the sales account. So you can see here, I can I can post this document without uh, this business place. But uh, after the configuration for uh, tra with the with the transaction variant and screen variant, I'm I'm going to make this field. As a required one so only if I, if I enter this business place the document can be posted you can see here the document has been posted without this field so I'm going to make this field as a required one by using SHD0 T code that is the customization customization for uh, uh, transaction variant and screen variant so let me go with the T code SHD0 so in this, okay, I just enter the transaction code as FB70. Okay, I think I've uh, done already. Okay, just remove it. Just come again once again. Okay. So if I enter the uh, T code SHD0, okay, the screen appears like this. So my first step is I go to I just entered the transaction code that is required for the customization FB70 the customer advice I just click on enter uh, I start with the standard variant that is where from the variant group once I've created the variant group I just go for the transaction variant and then the screen variant so let me name the uh, uh, group name as F is that FB70 just click on enter so this is my uh, login user username I've entered my username here so I just now go to the transaction variant where the transaction variant is automatically populated so once I have created the uh, group the transaction variant will be automatically populated so under this transaction variant we can maintain the screen variant so it, it will be populated automatically once I have done the uh, settings so in the screen I just click on create symbol okay it is this it is already exist so I just include a additional variant number I just click on enter so it is creating so here I just enter the uh, customer number click on enter the fields will be populated confirm screen entries so these are the uh, these are the tabs are uh, populating here so I want all these tabs in my configuration so I just uh, uh, I have not made any invisible 
if I make this uh, example of if I make this notes as invisible it will not be appearing in my uh, uh, settings so I just I just just leave this so I just click on tick here so here the business place you can find the business place uh, field here I just scroll down you can see here this is the business place so I'm just making it as a required one and I just click on exit and save we can give the short text or we can uh, I just save this transaction variant So it is automatically assigned with the package. I just click on local object. So once again, I click on local object. Okay, I just save the transaction variant once again. I just go back. So you can see the screen variant has been automatically populated. So this is the program we have uh, done the uh, configuration. Uh, this program is assigned for the FB70 uh, uh, T code, the first screen. So the, the first screen program is this one we have configured in this screen. So I just, so the, the next important step is I just go to the standard variant where I, I would have to make click on this set proposal so then only this proposal will be set for my uh, SAP user so now we can uh, go on testing our uh, configuration so I just once again go for the uh, customer invoice So here now I just enter the customer number, give the amount, the currency. So I'm not providing this business place right now. Let me check the sales account and the, when I click on enter, so it directs to the, uh, business place field so previously it, uh, it does not uh, uh, demands for the business place uh, field so, so basically the business place is an organization unit that is used for uh, reporting tax on sales and purchases so if the taxes are lived locally uh, we need to use this business place so I have already configured a business place so with my configuration I have uh, made this business place field a uh, mandatory so once if I give this business place the transaction will be allowed to post it so likewise we can configure the uh, transaction variant and uh, screen variant in our configuration so the customer invoice will be posted So you can see the document is posted. So thank you friends for watching this video. We will continue the next video. Thank you.